Hi hi everyone! If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel! I try to upload three days a week with different ASMR scripts. I also have a Patreon and other links you can see in the description below. I appreciate your support very much, and I hope you have a good one! Hello human. How are you feeling? Oh no, please don't be scared. Please, I swear I'm not going to hurt you. Please just calm down. Calm down, calm down. Just breathe. Yes, that is. Calm down, calm down. Okay. No, I am not a burglar. I am a biologist. Yes, a biologist. A scientist. What do you mean I don't look like one? Because I am not wearing a lab coat. Well, Yes, I guess my clothes are a little different from what you would expect. Especially with, what did you call it? Astronaut helmet? Oh, you just realized you're not in your room anymore. You must have been too scared to notice before. Quite interesting. Oh yes. This is my research lab. And you. You are the main focus of my research. Here we all refer to you as Specimen M00032. Or, well, the human. Why do I call you human? Oh, well, you see. <laughs> Please just promise me you are not going to freak out when I take off the helmet. My appearance is a little different than what you are used to. Ta-da. Yes, my skin is kind of green. And I have this antenna on the sides of my head. And yes, my iris is red. Do I look scary? Oh, that's good. So I look pretty for human standards. Good. Very good. You know, I tried very hard to make myself look good for you. For your kind, I mean. For your species. Oh yes, if you look at my face and body, I mostly look like a human, right? Well, it's not naturally like that. I modified my genetic code before coming to this planet. Yes, this planet. I am what you would call an alien, an intelligent creature from another planet. My name is not really easy to pronounce with the human tongue and throat, so you can call me Sana. It sounds close enough to my actual name. I come from a distant planet that we call Green, and that orbits around a K-type star that you humans apparently call Groombridge 1618. Of course, we just call it our sun. And as I said earlier, I am a biologist. I am making my thesis on the weird, warm blood creatures of planet S-20603. Or what do you call it? Uh, Earth? With the focus on mammalian behavior, and well, 
Your species is just amazing. No, I mean it. Back on my planet, everyone thinks you are still trying to figure out how to create a flying machine. You have a freaking robot on your neighbor planet. Just how did you manage to go from the plane to the interplanetary rockets in less than one plute? A plute is more or less a sentry on my planet. Yes, time units are the weirdest conversion. One year on my planet is six years and two months on yours. But going back to my point, you are really smart for a monkey. Oh, yes. You don't like being called a monkey. Sorry. But you are one tough... Anyways. In my planet, we created the first planes six centuries before going to our moon. On top of that, not only you, but all primates and most mammals are the cutest creatures we have found on all six planets with complex life we know about. Yes, we know about six planets with complex multicellular life. One inhabited by my kind, other by you, another where what you call greys live, and other three with a lot of plants and animals, but nothing nearly as smart to start a civilization. Look, I have some pictures. Oh, you are afraid of those. But they are so cute. They look like a perfect mix of a jellyfish and a horse. They are carnivores, though. Also, look at this one. Yes, it looks like a tiny volcano, but is a plant. And this one over here, the red little thing that looks like an apple, is a predator that spits acid from its own butt. And this is a picture of me and my classmates. Yes, is a less humanoid form with the five eyes and four arms and the lack of hair. Is it too weird? Yes, I thought so. Why do I look so different? Well, the first time my race went to another planet with life, they all died. A mission of seven scientists and three soldiers. We realized that even if we could breathe there and tolerate the cold or heat, there are thousands of small factors we are not suited to endure. When you evolve in a totally different environment, your body can't just adapt quickly to a whole new planet. So after a couple of decades, we developed a method that has been useful to this day. We take a little DNA of one of those species living there, put it in ourselves, and we are ready to survive there with no complications at all. When we go back to our own planet, we just remove it. It's perfect, except for the changes on the appearance that it generates. But modern models allows us to decide what physical features we want to show and which ones we want to suppress. Like for example, I could decide if I wanted to add hair or not. Or these things that mammals use to feed their offspring when they are young. Well, I chose to have them because I thought you would like them. Also, the just two eyes and two arms. I chose that feature because I thought it would look cute. And human eyes. Why? Well, we have been observing you in particular for the last six months. With the cam we put inside your house. Also, we did that with other 39 human specimens, 20 females and 19 males. Well, 
we saw some pretty interesting things. Well, for the most part, even though your species is very smart, you are mean towards each other most of the time. But sometimes, you are very kind with some specific individuals. With the ones you mate, and sometimes live with, you are very kind, and you even raise your offspring together. And not only that, you make all those rituals. Rituals like the one when you put your arms around your mate and press them against your body are amazing. It's so cute to see. Or the one when you walk while interlacing your fingers with the ones of your mate. And the best one. The one when you can put your mouth in contact with the mouth of your mate and you use your... Yes, kissing. It's so exciting to see it. And well, I know it is very wrong, but I kind of want to date you. Why is it wrong? From the point of view of my species, this is like doing a lewd thing to an animal, like what you call a furry. You don't mind? So you will date me? Oh my god, I am so happy. I didn't even have to use the electroshock dispositive I've implanted on your spine. Ignore that. But tell me why did you say yes so quickly? Oh, so just that. And you think I am beautiful. That is... Praise me more. Yes, I like it. My hair is gorgeous. And my body is very hot. Yes, keep praising me. Ugh. You are the best. Tell me, can we do the arms around me thing? Hug? The hug thing? Oh my god, this feels so warm and cozy. I think I could get addicted to it. Oh, the rest of the researchers. They are in different labs. Also, they are focusing on different species. Oh yes, it is very good that we will not see them. I don't want them calling me a furry. Not that I will keep you hidden forever, but I need some time to... Oh, you understand. Oh, you are the best. I'll hug you again. Yes, I am addicted to this.